I started swimming when I was about 20, 21, and that was after my scoliosis surgery. And the doctors basically said there was, you know, very little activity that I could do, but that was one thing that would be forgiving. So I started swimming and I fell in love. I think it's really important for everybody to face their fears. Swimming in the ocean was a huge fear. I was afraid of big waves. So when I go in on a day that's rough and the currents are really difficult, there are rip tides and big waves and great white sharks even. And then I finish, I get out, and I feel like I can conquer the world. Swimming has taught me focus. If I have in my mind where the finish line is, I have to focus to get there. My coach used to tell me, swim your own race. And that's important, it's important in anything that you do. So I apply it to real estate because I'm not going to be looking every five seconds at what the next person is doing. If I do that, I'm not going to be a winner. I never pigeonhole myself into being a listing agent or a buyer's agent. I love the change, I like getting into the different personalities. If you're listing a house and then you come to the sale, I know where the buyer's head is at because I work with them. If I'm representing a buyer and I'm going into a home, I know where the seller's head is at and I am more equipped to make the deal. I love selling in the South Bay because that's the beach side of me and I love selling in the Bird Streets and Beverly Hills on the West Side because that's the city side of me. I like working off of other people, other people's energy, and they inspire me. It, it gets me excited. So when I work in real estate, I love having my team around me. I want my clients to feel that they got what they wanted. I never want anybody to settle. I don't settle, so why should they? I have a client that says, never tell Rory Barish what you want until you're ready to get it because she'll find it. And if you're not ready, watch out. <laughs>